at area one junction in the metropolis a commercial taxi driver who was caught with overloaded passengers undressed himself in protest against the impoundment of his vehicle i can't you drag your wife no money i can't find the job no money nothing you tell us keep for us baba what do you want to do nothing when i fear corona hunger virus past coronavirus Hey guys, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Elijah and this is Frankly Speaking with Glory. Don't mind me, my eyes are really, really full with water because the video you just watched, it made me cry yesterday. And every time I look at that video, it keeps on reminding me that this is the reality that Nigerians are facing at the moment. Um, as I said in my previous videos, the population of Nigeria is a makeup of about 50% poverty stricken citizens and 50% of the rich, or it could even be more than that. And um, it's really crazy because it seems like um, the government does not really understand understand what people are actually going through at the moment you know um, I want to give um, more kudos to um, Governor Sonwo Olu again the governor of Lagos State for being very proactive for being very very communicative with us Lagosians because um, he's one of those um, leaders that has really really surprised me I did not expect the level of proactivity and the level of work and effectiveness that's coming from him but he's doing so well so far but back to what i'm saying um nigerians are going through similar situations with the taxi driver as i said in my previous videos that ni most nigerians um what they do is they do menial jobs petty trades here and there and they can most of them cannot earn a living without going outside to have daily interactions with other people because these are the people that actually patronize them of their goods and their services they are not like um, those people who are already well to do that have companies that can afford to work from home or work from anywhere in their offices or everywhere um, so guys um, that taxi driver story just really really broke my heart yesterday and I am still praying that um, God touches the hearts of our leaders and they do the needful immediately because I still do not understand how they are saying that they are coming up with a social register and it's been over two weeks of um, isolation for Nigerians and still we are yet to hear of any records or anything that says that they have started you know disbursing these relief materials to Nigerians out there and so this brings me to the information that I was going to share with you guys on today's episode and it's that the EU has donated 50 million euros to Nigeria to support the efforts towards um, controlling the COVID-19 pandemic and um, experts at foreign exchange they have come to um, a conclusion that that 15 million euros it's about 21 billion naira so let's not forget that um, um, two three weeks ago we had a major billionaires of Nigeria family Tedola Tony Elumelu lots and lots of other individuals banks they have also donated billions and billions of naira to Nigerians as well to help curb the spread of the coronavirus um, but now the question is the government have been talking about palliative measures being put in place blah 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 how do they expect or how do they how do they hope to help Nigerians to benefit from all of these, you know, funds that have been donated so far? Because for me, I feel like that's a lot of money. Because we're not just receiving monetary donations already. We are also receiving, you know, medical supplies. We are receiving medical equipment, you know, from other international bodies as well. I think that same yesterday, we got about 50 or more ventilators from the United Nations. And also the EU also have paid 1.2 million euros to UNICEF to send us goods as well to help us, you know, go through this period. Because according to them, they were impressed by President Muhammad Buhari's address to Nigerians. They felt like it was really a powerful address. Well, that's their own opinion. Anyways, guys, as I said, question of a video, how do you think Nigerians are going to benefit from these billions and billions of naira that has been donated to us so far because um the the president mentioned that um they have increased the number of eligible households that will benefit from all these relief materials and that makes it a total of 3.6 million um households 
And then I am thinking that the last census that was carried out in Nigeria, it was about, um, we came to the conclusion that Nigerian population was about 150 million. And now it's many years later. And I am estimating that the number of citizens that we have in this country must have risen to about 170 million or even more. And then the president is saying that um, 3.6 million households will get to benefit from these palliative measures that they said that they are putting together and i'm wondering is that enough is that enough looking at the number of people that are hungry out there you know i feel like um our leaders still do not understand what's going on yes i feel like they are still way way way, way up there in the clouds and us nigerians we are still below 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 here I feel like they still do not understand. I feel like they still do not feel our pain. People are struggling. People are struggling. Most of the people in Nigeria, they cannot feed in a day without having daily interactions with people out there. And the next video I'm going to post on this um, video, the next video that you are going to watch here, is going to show you a situation of um, a trailer carrying rice, bags of rice to go and supply to someone and then the trailer was hijacked on the highway and guess what hungry angry nigerians we are stealing bags of rice from that trailer for both brother Lito, there is still rice there is still rice so from this motor tree this <laughs> like they were stealing from that trailer so I can't say that I feel really sorry for the owner of that of that container. I can't even say because at this point I can't even blame the people that are stealing from the trailer because the truth is anybody that is very very hungry you cannot completely predict the person's next move and that's what i'm saying that our leaders should try and avoid because the moment nigerians cannot take the situation anymore they will start violating and breaking all the rules of social distancing of staying indoors and they will start coming out of their houses in large numbers and they will start breaking and entering into shops breaking and entering into anywhere they see that there is food the other day um, a taxi driver was carrying um, a taxi filled with foodstuffs uh, you know, along um, Lekki Ekbe Expressway and some street urchins. They hijacked him. You know, they blocked his way. And what did they do? They did not steal his phone. They did not steal money from him. They didn't steal anything from him. What did they go for? They went after the food in the back of the truck. Um, it's gotten so bad now. This man was just driving with foodstuffs on the road. Yes. You know, and he got attacked. You can see, you can see that. He was going to make his supplies. He got attacked. On a broad daylight, they blocked him. They blocked him. They took away the yams in the car. On a broad daylight, this is how bad it's going to become very soon. You know, the message for everybody to understand. He got robbed. Look at him. They bust the glass. They removed food from the car. They removed the yams and everything from the car. You can see that. You understand? So it was the food that they were after. So people are really, really hungry. Um, yesterday, um, Governor Sonwo Olu he announced on Twitter that Lagos State has started um, their disbursement of um, daily feeding of street urchins and people that need food, um, 250,000 people. And I must applaud his efforts. For me, I feel like that is someone that is coming to terms with the fact that people are actually really hungry and something needs to be done on time. Now, back to my question. Nigeria has, really, has received billions and billions of Naira in terms of donations from private individuals, from um, international organizations. So the question is, if the president was saying initially that 20,000 Naira each will be paid to each in, um, Nigerian's account, which has not been done yet, don't you think that that 20,000 Naira should be increased to 50,000 Naira? Because for me, I feel like 50,000 Naira shared into over... 5 million people's account or even more I, I feel like it's going to go a long way and um, it's not going to finish the entire billions billions that we have that's my own opinion I feel like 20,000 naira is too small imagine in a Nigerian household we have about 5 people in a Nigerian household 5 to 10 people in a Nigerian household in an average Nigerian household 
do you think that 20,000 naira will be enough to actually cater to the needs of this of that household for a week not to even talk of two weeks so i feel like there's so many realities that our leaders are yet to understand i feel like there are so many realities that our leaders are being myopic to they are not really getting the picture they are not really understanding that this situation is a very very serious and dangerous one as they always say that an angry man is an angry man nigerians are getting to the brink very soon that dam will burst and then i wonder if our leaders will be able to contro control the anger that's going to pour out into the streets um ladies and gentlemen i have said my piece i have said my piece yesterday there was um um a hashtag going on on twitter pay us our palliatives via bvn i am strongly in support of that um the um the minister in charge of humanitarian works of nigeria yesterday um claimed to have sacked um the contractors the i think the I, I can't remember the name they call them but they said that they were contractors that were actually contracted to carry out the payment of these 20 20 000 into nigerians account and they did not do the work they did they were delaying to do the work so they said or she said that they have sacked those contractors let's wait and see how it goes if um, they are going to get new people that can do the work. Let's see how it goes. But for me, I still feel like the 20,000 era is still very small. It will not really cater to the needs of all Nigerian households. It is very, very small. 20,000 era cannot feed our leaders. 20,000 era cannot feed one individual from our leaders' household. So I feel like they should be more considerate. They should be more more empathetic towards the plight of Nigerians. They should ask themselves, if 20,000 era cannot take me a whole day to feed myself will it be able to cater to a household of five to ten people in nigeria i feel like these are questions that they should be asking themselves which they are not even asking themselves at all um anyways guys that's my own take on this whole um issue um whatever your thoughts are your um contributions please do well to drop them in the comment section below i cannot wait to read from you guys um i'll be dropping a video up next so that you can actually have a clear picture of what's going on in the streets of nigeria i'll see you guys in my next video with more updates of what's currently going on in the country thanks for watching bye